Hi, and welcome back. In today's segment, we're going to talk about the spectrometer, which is a common analytical instrument in the lab. And you can see right here, we have a spectrometer. In this case, you can see by the number nine, that is the ninth spectrometer we have, but not a big concern. So what does a spectrometer do? It measures the amount of light that's being absorbed or transmitted through a solution, okay? And you may have seen a picture of the visible spectrum before, and this just goes from blue to red. And all of these wavelengths of light are, can be separated by the spectrometer. So we can look at just one specific color, okay? And the way a spectrometer works is by having a light bulb inside of it, which is placed right over here, is there's a light bulb. And then we're gonna put our solution in the way. And then there's a detector on the other side. And whatever, it measures the light that comes in, versus the light that comes out. And the way it measures that is using absorbance, which we'll talk about in one second, okay? So let's quickly walk through the parts of the SPEC-20, all right? First, we have the LCD screen, which tells us the wavelength of light that we're interested in, that we're gonna look at, and then the value of the absorbance. Typically, in chemistry, we're gonna look at the absorbance, but we could also measure the transmittance, or how much light is getting out, okay? We also have the wavelength selection buttons here in nanometers, we can increase and decrease. And then we also have the zero uh, absorbance button or zero ABS. And what that does is it sets our blank. And the blank we'll talk about in a, in a few seconds, okay? So let's talk about a little about uh, some of the, what we use to put into the spectrometer and how we measure. And those are the cuvettes. And a cuvette is just one of these little pieces of plastic cubes and they uh, can hold our solution, which we can measure. And we're gonna measure there's a blue solution in a short amount of time, okay? So what does this do for us? How can the spectrometer, by just giving us an absorbance value, do anything? Well, the spectrometer measures absorbance, okay? And we can relate absorbance to concentration using what's known as Beer's Law, okay? And Beer's Law just relates absorbance and concentration and path length all in one nice simple equation, okay, that you'll be using in lab. So let's first begin to measure the absorbance of this blue solution, okay? To measure the absorbance, we have to know what the absorbance of the background is, because the blue solution here in this case is just water and food coloring. So the background, what I'm not interested in, is the water. So I'm gonna first fill my cuvette with some water as my background solvent, and as I fill that up, we'll have our background solvent, okay? The next thing we have to do is set the wavelength. What wavelength are we interested in finding out about? And that may be told to you in your lab procedure, or your TA may tell you, or you may have to figure it out. In this case, the absorbance that we're interested in is at a wavelength of 600 nanometers. So I'm just gonna quickly use the nanometers up button and adjust it to 600 nanometers, and we can see it's there. And I'm gonna insert my blank cuvette. Before I do that though, I'm going to need to know which way my cuvette is pointed so I can say consistent, okay? And on this cuvette, I've already placed a small black mark and by putting that black mark there, I know that it's always gonna face out. So I'm gonna put my cuvette into the spectrometer, facing out. I'm gonna close the cover so we don't have any stray light get in. And the number that's there is not all that important. What we're gonna do is hit the zero absorbance button and that should set our wavelength and absorbance to zero. Okay, so we've set it to zero, and we have blanked our solution. So now, the only absorbance we read is gonna be the absorbance of the blue solution. So I'm gonna take my marker again, and mark the other cuvette, so I know which way is gonna face out. So if I do repeated measurements, and I'm gonna make that little mark there, and you don't have to worry about being in the way because the light on the cuvette actually is around the bottom half or so. So as long as the dot is at the top, we're okay. So I'm going to put my cuvette in my spectrometer, insert it into the chamber, close the cover, and we can measure the absorbance as 0 0.392. And it's a very stable number, and we can record that in our notebook for future use and using Beer's Law to determine concentrations. Okay, so now we can remove our cuvette, and you may have more measurements to make, you frequently will, so you'd need to empty it out and clean it out, and, but this time we're only going to have one measurement. So right now we're going to empty our cuvette, uh, and we're going to pour that right into our waste beaker, okay? Now we do save these cuvettes, 
and so other people can use them. So we have to make sure that they are very, very clean because the spectrometer is very accurate. Accurate the point of measuring parts per million to parts per billion. So we have to make sure that there's nothing else lingering behind there. So I'm going to use my wash bottle and wash it one, two, three times. Wipe it down with a, with a Kim wipe, a tissue here, and just leave it upside down to dry. Okay? And that's the basic process of using a spectrometer. In this case, specifically a Genesis 20 in the lab. Now I hope you've learned a little bit about using the spectrometer and that you'll be able to measure absorbance and use it uh, well in determining analytical concentrations. So thank you very much and, and see you next time in the lab.